guys. Uh, welcome. Uh, Joshua Bradshaw here with a uh, quick, uh, helpful troubleshooting uh, tutorial for your uh, Mercury uh, Genie smart bulbs. Um, I just got mine at their uh, really cool, really uh, inexpensive uh, for smart bulbs. Uh, running you about 10 bucks a bulb. Uh, has all the features all the uh, big name brands have. Um, the only issue I had was upon setup, wasn't able to find any uh, videos out there really, you know, uh, describing the, the issue I, I was having. Um, so you, you, you get your bulb, you just installed it, um, the light's flashing on and off, um, you have the app downloaded, um, it's telling you, you know, to put in your Wi-Fi password, and then you'll see a, a loading screen where you're, uh, you're, it's supposedly connecting to your Wi-Fi. Um, that's where I was getting stuck at. Uh, it would load, 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 and then say, sorry, couldn't connect. Um, one of the, it has a little disclaimer at the bottom. It says, please make sure you, you know, your Wi-Fi supports 2.4 uh, gigahertz. You have 2.4 and you have 5. Um, I, I have AT&T and, uh, you know, I'm not sure how much other providers work but for me anyways I have both I have a uh, my Wi-Fi supports both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz didn't um, think that that was the issue uh, but it turns out that if your bulb uh, your bulb will try and connect to the 5 despite you uh, running both uh, so the workaround for this is um, first you're gonna want to get your uh, your uh, gateway and if you don't know it you uh, simply come into your command prompt CMD uh, if you're running on Windows like me it's pretty easy to pull up uh, you want to type in IP config uh, you'll hit enter at the bottom here you'll get this uh, gateway number uh, so mine's 192.168.1254 um, you're gonna open a, uh, a web browser a new one So you guys can, and you're simply going to enter in that number that you see. You see, mine's already filled in because I've obviously <clears throat> done it before. Uh, you're going to want to enter in that number there. It'll load up. It'll take you to your home um, settings. You want to go to your uh, modify security. Uh, it's going to ask you for an access code, which you should be able to find uh, on your router. Uh, I have mine written on my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Uh, it will lock it, so I'm not worried about you guys stealing my code. Once you get that in, you press enter, let it load up. What's, what, what that's going to do is take you to this... Uh, uh, screen here and like I said I run both so you'll see uh, you know 2.45 gigahertz and his password must match both uh, should be enabled um, you know uh, so my 2.4 gigahertz uh, is enabled uh, but my 5 uh, gigahertz is also enabled and so what you want to do to solve that is simply go down click disabled I'm not going to do it now but I already have done this uh, you want to disable it Hit save, give it the uh, you know 20 or so seconds it says it needs to uh, save your changes, um, and then attempt again. Uh, once you have your five gigahertz disabled, you'll be able to uh, uh, it, the the bulb won't get confused and it'll only connect to your 2.4. Um, once you're done setting up your light or lights plural. Uh, which was another problem I had. I was trying to set up two lights at once. So I, what I did was I just went one light at a time. Um, uh, once you're done setting up your light, uh, you just go back in and you enable your five gigahertz once you get it all set up. Um, I hope this helped a lot of people. It was frustrating for me. Uh, if this did help you and, and solved your issue, uh, please go ahead and click the subscribe uh, follow button. Uh, 